Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. First of all, I want to give you guys, my subscribers, a big thank you for helping me to reach 3K subscribers. It wasn't that long ago where I barely reached 2K. So let's keep it going. I'm going to keep it going. I got more videos on the way. And speaking of videos, today's video, I'm going to do a little drip effect lettering. So stick around for this one. All right guys, so today's illustration is gonna be a little bit different from what I normally do because today I'm gonna to be using a black sheet of paper as opposed to a white sheet of paper simply because the design that I'm gonna do and the colors are gonna pop well off a black background. But I can do it on a white sheet of paper, but then I'd have to go and use black marker and use all that black ink for the background. I don't wanna do that. I already have a black background in this paper right here. Plus, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because I rarely do drawings or illustrations on black pieces of paper but what i do like about colored paper or even tonal paper is that they serve as a mid-tone so when you do highlights on it the highlights pop right off but in this case it's a black sheet of paper i need it for the black background and when i get done with my design and adding the colors to it it's gonna pop so i hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started So I got the basic sketch laid out and it was pretty difficult to see the pencil sketch on top of this dark sheet of paper. But from what I can see with the light reflecting off the lead areas, the design looks pretty good. I can't wait to add some color to this design, which I'm gonna do right now. So let's
All right, guys, as you can see, that first layer of paint that I laid down is looking pretty transparent. That's because the dark paper that I'm using is coming through that first layer. So it's keeping that green from looking really vibrant. So what I'm gonna have to do is add a second layer of green over it. The first layer is acting as a primer. So let's see if that second layer does the trick. All right guys, so the design is looking a little bit more opaque. It's looking a lot better. I think that second layer really did the trick. You know, I could even do a third layer, but you know what? I think it's good to go. So let's move on to the next color. Alright guys, so the design is almost done. It's time to move on to the third and final color. Let's finish this off. all right guys that's gonna do it for the video that was my drip effect lettering done with posca paint markers and it had sort of a slimy melted candle wax gel effect going on as well but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, I want to say thanks to all you guys, my subscribers. So let's take it to 4K next. All right, guys. So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
bitch, but I lie from a falling sky. Fly to the forces above us, like keep holding on to this present sign. Inspired by the ones that were left behind us, we fell for the light of a falling sky. Fly to the forces above this life. So much to the poltergeist Trying to hold on a love But it's frosting my star So much but a life From a falling sky Applied to the forces Above us Keep holding on To this present time